Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! You! Yes, you, there, right there. You're thinking about it. You want to go to level 40 plus, don't you? Yes! 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 You do, but you don't know what it entails. What's there? Like, what, what all the craziness is going on up there? We're going to show you in this video how to get there, what you're going to see, and even the ships to look at at level 42. Daddy, no! Daddy, yes! This is a very wide-reaching topic, so we're not getting into super detail on everything, including some of the costs and some of the upgrades and all the research, etc. But we are going over the basics of it, and then maybe how you should kind of point your path based on different things that we have. A lot of information in this one, including some fancy graphs and charts, because who doesn't love that on a Friday? It's uh, probably more of a Monday edition, but we're going to do it because actually next week I'd love to do some officer videos and really get into some officer combinations. Which brings me to my next point before we start the video. If you have specific questions about officers in the video below or the comments below right down there, I would like you to tell me what officers that you would like to see broken down if I haven't done them already and what crew combos. And we'll see if we can get those into next week's videos. I really want to jump back into some of the officer stuff because we didn't do much last month in that. So we're going to do a lot of it in March, helping y'all out with the officers and how they work and explaining everything that's going on. So let's start with how do you even get to level 40? Now, bear in mind that some servers, newer servers, are not going to see this event. You stay level locked at 39 for quite some time. Uh, average estimates, and there's different things that go into this, is anywhere from 8 to 12 months before your server opens up and allows you to ascend, which is what this event's called, the ascension event. This is all you got to do. It's literally, all you literally got to do is use one of these four ships and beat an epic armada. That's it. That's all you got to do. And this event comes around every Friday. So if you are level 39 on a newer server and haven't seen it, don't worry. Your server simply hasn't unlocked that yet. You will eventually see it. Once you get those keys, then you'll be able to go in and see the wonderful price of 5 billion steel, 33 million trit, and 11 million dill to go to level 40. Now, granted, this will be you know, this varies based on research and things like that, which kind of brings up my next point is when you go up to 40, there's a real argument for going ahead and going straight to 41 because a lot of research opens up at 41. It's advantageous for you to check out. But you can see, and this is from our friends over at L Cars. How do I do the R? I don't know. And there's the S. We'll skip the R. Like Boston, we just don't use ours. Here is basically a hundred different researches that you can have. And this is, you can use this command as exclamation point R E S and then the actual level and then put list. So R E S 40 list to show what unlocks at those different areas and what you can start getting at. And also how it increases your power and your actual uh, increase, which will help for things like domination when you're trying to determine how many points do I get for different things. So you see the Armada Shield upgrades, you see ship upgrades, you see dilithium acceleration efficiency upgrades, which are very important. The Explorer Shields hull repairs letting you get to level eight, which that'll be very important. We'll talk about that in a second. The Pure Crystal for the Klingon, very nice. The Federation Pure Gas, the Romulan Pure Ore. All these research is starting to open up. G4 Ship Repair can get up to, I think, level three here with level 41. So different things opening up as you go through. And like I said, this is all over the screen, so you can just kind of check it out. The only real problem is, even though those are there, you've got to look at your own research tree and say, am I ready for making that jump? So one thing that I'm running into when I look at some of this is, honestly, I'm not high enough to really jump to those new researches. You know, if you talk about a reason to sit in the game, for a long time we talked about sitting to max out your base. It's really not as important anymore. Now it's maxing out specific researches. And you see here that, you know, like my fleet commander, I can't get to 48 for that new dock, but I've got five. So I'll just live with it. But you've got all these that you max out early on. But then as you go deeper into the tree, there's more and more that you need. And you look at, for example, Federation repair cost. It's something I've only got ranked three out of 10. But if I eventually want to get a Kelvin, it's very important for me to upgrade this. And you'll see why a little bit later. But also, you look at the ship structure cost, improving the cost efficiency of titanium, lithium, and ship components when you're doing your upgrades. 
This is a very important one. When you want to get into these new ships, and as you can see, it's going to cost you that three-star uncommon and three-star rares, but it's very important to go through these researches to make the cost of the 40s more efficient for you. Because if you don't, you will be spending twice as much, if depending on what you have not done, if you don't do that. There's also even earlier stuff. You see, my pure titanium and pure lithium are only at rank six right now because I haven't gone and done my titanium holdings and my accelerators. And these are very basic researches. So I've got research to catch up on, and that's just one tree. Let's jump over to our territory tree. So if you're progressing through here, you can see that I'm definitely behind some of you here. I've been focusing on this section. See, I've got my Explorer Hull Integrity 6 out of 12, my Efficient Ship Upgrade at 5 out of 12. I'll be doing that one up again, which is definitely important for the you know, minerals that we talk about, the ores, the crystals, and the gas. But then as you go down, you get to the next section. So you got the three star, but then right after that, look at these, the Explorer repair costs, Interceptor repair costs, and Battleship repair costs. I've not even gotten here yet. These are things that I need to progress into so that I can then have that ready for four star. So a lot of the stuff that you're preparing for is the ships. The researchers are going to help you get that, but you really need to build a foundation in the game that allow you to be ready for when that comes. So let's talk about the ships. As I said, this is a basic video of getting to 40 plus and what it's like. We'll do specific videos of crew loadouts for these new ships and everything a little bit later. And we had some friends with their Valdors, Contingas, Kelvins, etc. send some videos and clips. Y'all can see those playing here and there as we talk about them. We're going to jump right into the build menu because now at 39, I can see them. When we'll talk about them individually. Now, a great thing that has happened is the improved repair cost that came with an update about a month ago. Also, hurry up and load. Thank you. So if we're going to go into our... just going, We're going to do it this way because it's easier. Let's we'll start with the Bordas. Wrong ship. Looks exactly the same, almost. Slightly different. You'll see the neck. See the little weird pipes on the neck of the Bordas and how thin it is? All right, now we'll go and show you the Katinga. It's basically a Bordis, but thicker. She's a thicker girl. Like, there's your little, little neck ridges and spine. The front plate's a little wider. She feels a little thicker in the back. She's just a bigger Bordis. But anyway, let's talk about this ship as a whole with the repair cost as the main point that I really want to make is the repair cost. I think that's been the biggest change that makes this a viable thing. We can also go through upshore upgrade costs. Let's talk about repair first. So at tier one, I'm looking at base repair cost on the research that I put into this calculator provided by LCARS, that my base repair would be about 9.5 million trit at tier one. I currently complain about it being ridiculous for my ISS at basically 1.2 million. And that's the Katinga being a great little battleship, but expensive to operate. And let's talk about the cost of getting there. Once again, I'm not trying to tell you to not do it, but I'm saying prepare for it. Four star is not something you want to rush into. Four star you want to prepare for. So here's what tier three of the battleship Katinga will cost you to get it to tier three from tier two. It will cost you 3.5 trillion tritanium. 188 million dilithium, 14.9 thousand common four star crystal, 5,000 uncommon four star crystal, 38,000 common ore, 10,000 uncommon ore, 95,000 common battleship parts, and even buying that with latinum is going to take a while, and 27,000 uncommon battleship parts just to get to tier three. Now, the bonus is, and you can see with the chart that. Up until about tier five, tier six, you really get a massive, honestly, it goes a little bit further than that for the uncommons. It drops off for the rares, but the repair efficiency has been greatly improved for you from base costs. They provided that. Now, as you level up and you get to like tier nine, 10, 11, 12, then it doesn't really help you. But tiers one through six, really, uh, mostly I'd say probably two through, and you can see on the graph, two through six or seven, depending on what ship we're talking about. So we see the biggest change in the reduction. This doesn't reduce the actual cost of getting it there though. That's only the cost of operation. So yeah, cool at tier five, you're only doing 80 million to repair now versus when you were doing 200 million to repair, but it still costs you three and a half billion to get there. At, you know, or hell, that's tier five. So a lot more than that. Let's just, just stick to tier three. So, okay, it's 20 million to repair now instead of 100 million, but it still costs you, you know, three and a half billion to get there. 
So all that has to be taken into consideration when you're doing that. Let's look at the other ships right now. Real quick, we'll go through them and mention them. Cruise and all that other stuff we'll save for later. Let's go over to the Kelvin, which also had great reductions in its overall. I still don't know why the impulse engine's right here and we have this random flame coming out of the nacelle, whatever. Just a nerdy nerd outs right here. So here's the same chart for the Kelvin. Once again, you see two through seven-ish, two through eight-ish, a very nice reduction. Then it starts to really fall off afterwards. Research will affect this as well. The more research you do, the less the actual change to the repair cost helps you, if that makes any sense. So like if I had all my researches upgraded, then I wouldn't have an 80% you know, change. It would be a little bit lower than that, but that's just because I rely so much on the changes from that. But anyway, you can use the calculator from LCAR's great tool. Once again, Kelvin, you can see expensive to operate. You're looking at the same type of price structure as the Katinga and then explore Valdor. Let's hop over to that real quick. Another gorgeous ship. I honestly think that is a lot nicer than the Coronar looks wise, but here's the Valdor. The 30% mitigation when defending, which is really interesting. And then we look at the cost and everything of it right here with our handy dandy tools. So check out the Valdor, look at the cost, see the upgrades. And yes, it's improved, same type of format, but how much are you spending to do that? And do you have 100,000 uncommon ship parts or 100,000 common ship parts and the ability to get them? So I will be moving up into the 40s, but I'm doing my research first, taking my time, and then eventually we'll move up and have some fun with everybody in the 40 plus. But if you wanna do that, this is how, and these are the things to expect. Sorry the video ran a little bit long, trying to cover a lot of information in a condensed period, but we will expound on individual things like research, like these ships and crew loadouts in future videos. Shout out to all the people who helped out and provided little clips so that everybody could enjoy seeing these big behemoths fly around. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with their space cowboys. Enjoy the channel. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Link in the comments. And remember, put your comments for what you want to see in officer videos coming up. And if you really want to help out, donate to the PayPal or the Patreon because we are starting to raise money for the house that we're trying to buy because I don't want to live in a dump the rest of my life. And y'all are the amazing people that make it happen. If you want to help out, remember, there's special benefits for those who donate to the house fund. We'll see you on the next one. Live long and prosper. Peace out. Remember, Spock doesn't go on the Enterprise. Live long and prosper. All the best. An even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.